Good day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. We're at the last of my little bracket of simple integrals or perhaps not so simple integrals that we're examining. Just to learn some techniques of uh, examining integrals and also some things to watch out for. And in this particular one there's something to watch out for. At first glance you would think we're dealing with an exponential here and an exponential there simply because we see an e but we have to remember that e just like pi just like square root of 2 just like 2 thirds is simply a number and when we have e squared we just have a number so that could be a constant of 5 or 6 sevenths or minus 2 or something it just happens to be e squared but it's only a constant which makes it a very simple thing to integrate 2 to the x however is a little more difficult we're used to integrating e to some function and uh, you may recall from a previous video that we need to know this that 2 is equal to the exponential of log 2 I wrote it this way just so that it looks very obvious uh, it also by the way is equal to the logarithm of the exponential of 2 the simple fact is that Exponential functions and logarithmic functions are what we call inverse functions and they undo each other. So the exponential of the logarithm of 2 is 2 or the logarithm of the exponential of 2 is 2. We're not going to use this one in this, on this particular occasion because we want to convert this number 2 into an exponential. So let's make this step. E squared I'm just not going to bother with because it's just a number but the 2 I'm going to replace with e to the log 2 to the power x now I should use brackets here dx times dx and this will give us if we just simplify it a little bit e squared plus e to the log 2x times x equals now we could do this by substitution or by pattern uh, I'm going to just use a pattern because I'm running out of room and I, I'm also running out of puff I've done a number of these this afternoon so I hope you uh, follow this and are quite happy with it integrating a constant is just e it's just the constant times x just as much as if that was 3 this would be 3x or 7 this would be 7x there's no mystery about it even though it looks a bit strange this one here integrating an exponential is the same exponential log of 2 times x but if I take the derivative of this I get that but I multiply it by log 2 and I don't want a log 2 sitting at the front so I have to have a log 2 here waiting so when the log 2 comes out the front they divide out and I get that as my derivative so there we are the integral of that is that plus C by the way if I if I did that too quickly I apologize it's hard uh, I have an increasingly large audience out there in, in uh, the YouTube world and you have an enormous variety of backgrounds many of you I think already have learned how to integrate so this is revision for you and I'm trusting that you know this uh, some of you are f beginners so this might have lost you and if that's the case I apologize uh, you could do this step by replacing this with a u so you could do a substitution let u equal log of 2 times x and so forth the u dx would be log 2 so du equals log 2 dx dividing by log 2 du over log 2 would be dx and you could replace that dx with du and log 2 and that's where this log 2 comes from on the bottom but uh, I just rushed because I expected a large number of 
the people viewing to understand their intervals. Uh, the last step, really, is not here, and it's not here, but it's this middle term. For log 2 we can't really change, but remember that this, the exponential to the logarithm of 2, equals 2. So we could convert this back to 2 to the x, which is actually more preferable for substitution and the like. If you had to go and do further differentiation or further, well, why you would differentiate after you've just integrated, I'm not sure, but sometimes for further things it's nice to leave an exponential in terms of e, but that's probably preferable here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos, especially if you subscribe. Thank you.